In this video, I'm going to show you how to status activities in P6 Professional using physical and duration percent complete types. These two percent complete types behave differently when status values are added. So it's important to understand this difference before assigning percent complete types to activities. The best way to understand the difference between duration and physical percent complete types is to witness the behavior as activities are statused. So I'm going to use a couple of examples to show you how all this works. Let's start with activity B, which is set to use duration percent complete. This activity was originally planned to take 10 days to complete. So first I need to start the activity. To do this, I'm going to click on the Started checkbox in the Activity Status tab. Next, I'm going to enter 20% in the Duration Percent Complete field. When I click out of this field, P6 calculates the remaining duration of 8 days. I can also enter status using the Remaining Duration field. I'll change that to say 6 days. When I do this, P6 will calculate the percent complete value, in this case 40%. This shows us how the remaining duration and percent complete fields are linked when using duration percent complete. Entering a value in one will cause P6 to calculate the other. Duration percent complete is a good option to help keep status updates simple and straightforward. However, some situations may call for a different approach. Let's say that you had achieved 20% of the work, but the team still needs 10 days to complete the activity. In this situation, you would need to use a physical percent complete activity type because, as you've just seen, a duration percent complete activity will not let us enter the remaining duration without it recalculating the percent complete. So, I'm now going to start activity C and then set it to 20% as I did for activity B. Notice, however, that the remaining duration didn't get recalculated by P6. When I use physical percent complete, P6 expects me to tell it what the remaining duration is. In this case, we said that the remaining work is still going to take 10 days. So we can leave the remaining duration field at 10 days. Now let's move the data date forward one week and recalculate the schedule. We can see that the schedule has slipped off its baseline and the remaining durations for activities B and C have been moved forward of the data date. The remaining durations are affecting the successor activities for the schedule. Now, in this final example, I'm going to introduce you to the expected finish date. This field can be used on a physical percent complete activity to force P6 to recalculate the remaining duration. Let's say another week has gone by and the team has reported that both activity B and C are 80% done. I'll set that value for each of the activities. They have also reported that they can get activity C finished by October the 2nd. So with that information, I'm going to set the expected finish date to October the 2nd and have P6 figure out what the remaining duration is. Once again, I advance the data date and reschedule. Now take a look at the remaining duration field of the physical percent complete activity. The remaining duration has now been recalculated to three days. So in summary, Duration percent complete activities will calculate percent complete or remaining duration depending on which of the values you enter. Physical percent complete will not make calculations. You will need to tell P6 the percent complete value and the remaining duration or expected finish date of the activity. If you don't provide these values, you may see artificially long slippages in your schedule as unadjusted remaining durations continue to push forward of the day-to-day. -day. 
If you like to learn new things by watching videos like this one, then you may be interested in our Primavera P6 Professional Online Video Training Class. 10.6 offers a complete course that teaches you everything you need to know to get up and running with Primavera P6 Professional and it's offered at a very affordable price. Click on the link below this video or go to 106consulting.com to learn more about this excellent alternative to formal classroom training.